Hello, this is Dave, Collectible Connoisseur. Wanted to make a video and just show off uh, one aspect of my collection. Um, so uh, I collect PSA graded cards of Andrew Benintendi. Uh, it's one theme in my collection, and you can see it's not a terribly large theme. This is actually maybe a newer thing that I've started pursuing. I have 30 some odd PSA graded cards. Um, you may say, hey, well, that's not that much. And after looking at my collection, you might say, well, hey, you don't really have the most uh, expensive or extensive collection. Well, I'm working on it, number one. Number two, I kind of view collecting as kind of like visiting a buffet. Um, you know, amongst collectors, there can be uh, a predisposition to... I'm going to start flipping through cards, by the way, as I talk. There can be a predisposition to... Uh, want to acquire everything at once it, there's there's just kind of that need to 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 see them all and get them all and hold them all well i kind of view it as hey that's a lot to put on your plate that's a lot to try to digest so you know maybe one is best served by you know picking some favorites put them on your plate taking them in and then getting up and going back for some more when you're ready and you'll notice that I do prefer my cards to be graded by PSA. Um, some thoughts on that. You know, why do I want to collect graded cards? Well, you know, number one, they're protected. You know, they, PSA returns them to you in this handy plastic uh, slab. And uh, the card itself is protected and will be presumably, uh, unless you do some some real severe and immediate damage to the slab. There are other ways to protect cards for sure. Um, certainly top loaders are cheaper. One touches are nice and they're cheaper. So again, why the graded version? Well, grading. I mean, you can see that each of these cards in addition to being slabbed up real nice and protected in that way, um, is <clears throat> cataloged with a name, and it is evaluated and assigned a grade. Now, some folks will say, well, hey, you know, those grades are arbitrary. Uh, you know, it's just a bunch of guys sitting around a room, and, you know, they have good days, they have bad days. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, they may or may not... Uh, even act ethically in assigning those grades. And, you know, there can be credence to all of those statements. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's a recognized company. Their grades are no more or no less arbitrary than any other grading company. Um, and, you know, they're only incentivized to not uh, impugn their own reputation by, you know, acting poorly. So you kind of take the good with the bad and assume that all, all in all, that, you know, they're trying to do a good job and that the grades are valid. And in grading them, or having a grade assigned to them, what also becomes is these cards become um, marketable. Uh, they're easily, easy to assign a price. I'm not just throwing... Uh, a 2017 Bowman Chrome and Andrew Benintendi batting refractor out on the market and say, well, it looks nice. Take my word for it. I have an independent third party who has evaluated the card, has said, well, that card or this card, 2017 tops uh, Andrew Benintendi batting rookie card is in mint condition. It's a nine on a scale of one to 10, or actually, I guess, zero to 10 authentic being, or yeah, just plainly authentic, being a zero. And that makes them able to be moved. And that's important because while I enjoy collecting, this is a 2017, same card, but a limited edition, so slightly nuanced. While I enjoy collecting them, there'll come a day when just like every possession I own, I'm going to no longer need it. I'm going to pass from this world on to the next. And, uh, you know, St. Peter's not going to meet me at the gate and say, did you bring your cards with you? So someone 
is going to take in these cards you know i hope that you know maybe there'll be a son a, a, a child a grandchild uh, another family member who i might just pass these to um, or maybe they pass to a family member and that family member is just uh, charged with or, or interested in disposing of them and these make them uh, more easily <laughs> disposable so and you may also ask why PSA there are other grading companies on the market you know uh, notable ones uh, Beckett SGC CGS HGA I don't know. Um, I don't know if even you would all call those all notable, but why PSA? Well, it's really simple as, as we stand here at this place in time, PSA is the most notable uh, actor in the market. They are the largest and uh, that just makes it easier to work with. And it's easier to benchmark pricing off of. I know the value of my cards because there are plenty, uh, in general, of 2015 Bowman's Best Andrew Benintendi Top Prospect cards out there that have a PSA grade. I don't remember the population report on this. Um, and by the way, population report is something that PSA will provide. They'll tell you how many are out there. But I do know that there are more than just this one. And in doing so, it's easier to uh, arrive at a market price. So... That's about it. Here's the 2015 Bowman Draft Andrew Benintendi and the Bowman Draft Chrome Andrew Benintendi. That's about it. Thanks for looking through my Benintendi cards and listening to, uh, to my ravings. I uh, hope you have a nice evening.